In this video, I'll be showing how to set up the tour feature on the Dawa A35 camera. The tour feature allows the camera to scan preset locations without the user needing to control the camera. Your camera should already be configured and installed before setting up this feature. We have another video showing how to configure and install your camera if you have not already done so. First, you're going to go to this website, dawawiki.com forward slash config tool. Here you have the Mac version and the Windows version of this tool. I'm going to download the Windows version. When finished downloading, run the software and follow the on-screen instructions to install it. Next, you're going to launch the program. Once the program is launched, it helps you find Dawa cameras which are currently on your network. So you see I could automatically see my camera here. If you don't see yours, click the refresh button and try again. You should see your camera's IP address. This is the information that we will need. Next, open Internet Explorer and enter your camera's IP address. Only Internet Explorer can be used to access your camera's web page. Also, your camera should be connected to the same router as your computer in order to access its web page. You would see a pop-up to allow the plugin. Please allow it. If it's your first time using the service, you would need to download and install the plugin to access the camera web page. Enter your camera's username and password and click login. Once you log in, you'll have a live view of your camera. You're going to click the PTZ tab. Here you'd have the PTZ controls to control the camera manually. Using the preset option, we can set different points for the camera to automatically go to without having to manually control it. So I'm going to select preset 1. We can select up to 25 presets. So I'm going to leave this view as preset 1 and I'm going to click add. This will save the preset to my current view. Next, I'm going to select preset 2. And I'm going to rotate the camera to the left and save this as preset 2. Click add to save this as preset 2. Now I'm going to turn it to the right and save this as preset 3. I'm going to change it to preset 3 and click add. Now we have three presets saved. To go to a preset, I simply input the preset value, preset 1, and go to. And the camera will automatically go to that preset. If I try preset 2 and go to, it would automatically go to that preset as well. Likewise with preset 3. So now next we're going to select the tour feature. What this does, this allows you to play the selected presets automatically. So we could select up to 8 tours. For this example, we're just going to keep it simple. Select tour 1 and we're going to add the different presets in this tour. So I'm adding preset 1, I'm going to add preset 2. I'm going to add preset 3. Now I'm going to click on the start button which will automatically start the tour and take us through the three selected presets. So there you see the tour has currently started and the camera now is automatically going through the three stored presets without 
the user needing to intervene if you close off this window and the camera would continue going through the tour and if it remains so unless you stop the tour to stop it you click on the stop button next you could delete the presets from the selected tool to delete the presets you simply click on the selected preset and you delete them one by one now that all presets have been deleted if we click start the tour doesn't work anymore because all presets have been deleted from the store we can also delete the pres presets select the preset number and select delete and this will delete the selected presets if we try now to go to a preset it will no longer work because all presets have been deleted from the camera i hope you enjoyed this video and i want to thank you for viewing